Hey guys, it's Deb. Welcome to part 24 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Runaway Teen Challenge. And right off the bat, I want to apologize to you if my voice sounds strange, <laughs> which I know it does. Um, I am kind of sick right now. I've been pretty sick over the weekend. Um, so I just want to apologize for that up front. Um, if I start coughing or something like that, I will definitely stop the video so that you don't have to sit through any of that. Um, now, in the last episode, what's she going to do? She's going to add wood. In our last episode, Brandon and Abby decided to throw a Halloween party. And Brandon has met the ghost who haunts this haunted house. And his name is Barnabas Stark. And Abby is going to give him a friendly introduction really quick. Um, now, everyone, of course, at this party... Um, is dressed in costume, as you can see. Abby, are you sleepy? You shouldn't be sleepy. I don't know. Maybe she's just bored. I don't know. But as you can see, everyone is dressed in costume. There's Brent Wellington. Um, and Abby thought she saw someone out of the corner of her eye just a few minutes ago. Someone dressed as a ghost standing um, over here in these bushes, right over here. And this person who she saw that was dressed as a ghost, you know, like had a bed sheet or whatever over them. And this person gave her the weirdest feeling. And this person looked a little bit taller than a teenager. So she was going to go over and introduce herself to this person and find out who they were. Well, she got distracted, a little bit distracted, when Erica Orwell came up and said something to her. And, you know, greeted her, and she said hello to Erica. And when she looked back up, this ghost person was gone. Okay, now Abby has seen real-life ghosts before, like Barnabas, who's a vampire ghost, um, and people like that. Or, you know, ghosts like that. This person was not an actual ghost. This person was actually someone dressed um, in a ghost outfit. And she's been looking around, and she cannot figure out where this person went to. This person just completely disappeared. So she's thinking, well, you know, this must be an adult who just is walking by and wanting to know why all these kids were hanging out, these teenagers were hanging out at this haunted house. Um, <laughs> and it looks like Pam Carnegie is throwing the baseball. Or, well, that's too big to be a baseball. I guess it's a softball with another sausage. <laughs> who is this sausage? This is Derek Rodford. Okay. All right, so everybody seems to be having an okay time. Um, and I saw... Um, oh, hey, hey, look here. Look here, look here. Um, this is Erica Orwell, and she just got a kiss from Brent Wellington. Are they a couple? I don't remember if they are or not. Let's just look and see if perhaps... Um, we don't know if she is a couple with anyone. Um... And we don't know if Brent Wellington is a couple with anyone, but I saw him kiss her. And let's just see what happens. Let's see if they made a love connection or if Erica Orwell will tell him to take a hike. <laughs> oh, and she told him to take a hike. Okay, poor Brent Wellington. Um... Uh, and Abby has actually, um, okay, so, um, all right, um, Tom Landfill is here, but he is not in costume for some reason, and Abby actually wanted to carve some pumpkins, so she's going to do that. She is going to carve a pumpkin. Oh, why can she not do this? Carving only allowed on the home lot. Okay, well, I guess we will wait until we get home to do that. Um, what's going on over here? Who is this? This is Kyle Barrows, and look at his costume. 
This makeup is quite scary. And everybody's going around yawning. You know, it's only 8.30. Um, I don't know what's up with that. And I guess we probably need to come over here and check on our little baby and make sure that she is okay. <clears throat> um, they're having a group conversation right now. And it looks like someone is complaining, but Abby's going to come over here and she is going to, well, I thought she was. Okay, she's going to tickle little Charlotte because we want to make sure that little Charlotte's social doesn't um, go down too far. And is there a crib here? I guess there's a crib here. We're going to attack her with the claw. Um, there's a potty here, so we won't need to change her diaper. Let's just look at her. Oh, she's hungry. Okay, so Abby's going to go ahead and feed her on the floor. Um, let's see. So Abby's going to go ahead and do those things, and then I think little Charlotte will probably be okay. Um, when she gets tired, I know there's a baby swing here. Because I think that the cradle, where's the baby swing? There's the baby swing here in the living room. I think the crib is like upstairs in this spooky area. Let me just show you um, the upstairs. We've got this bathroom, of course, that's all messed up. Um, this is how it originally was. I didn't make too many changes. I just made the bathroom usable. And, of course, I put some beds in, <laughs> you know, in case someone feels a little bit romantic. I think the crib, yeah, the crib is up here in the, um, in the attic area. And I did put bunk beds up here um, because I had a family camp out here one time um, in my own personal game. And I had them put the baby in the crib up here. So, yeah, this crib is perfectly fine to use. Um, but we're not going to. <laughs> and it looks like Brandon is giving us a little bit of loving. But we're going to listen to a joke. Well, we were going to, but something got in our way, and that's okay. So we are going to just forget about that. And actually, what we're going to do is, we are going to give our man Brandon a little bit of some loving. We are going to give him a kiss. And tell him how much we love him, even though, <laughs> even though he looks uh, not, not quite so hot in this particular outfit. I don't know what it is. I just don't really dig the cowboy hat on him. Um, I think it's just the hairdo or whatever. I don't know. He just so totally does not look like himself. Um, but yeah, Brandon's going to go ahead and he's going to give Abby some flowers. And just remind her how much he does love her. He's going to give her some romantic red flowers. And I guess they could sneak upstairs for a little woody hooty hoo. Um, of course, if they do, they probably will no longer be in their um, costumes, which is okay with me. I really don't care. But they're going to sneak up. They are not going to do any risky, and they are not going to do the try for baby. They're just going to do a regular plain woohoo. Look, he could woohoo with Barnabas. <laughs> I don't think so. Don't want to be woohooing with a ghost, really. That'd be kind of weird. Kind of strange, especially a vampire ghost. Uh, you know what? Can vampire ghosts bite you and make you vampires when they're ghosts? Huh. I don't know. If you know the answer to that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm kind of curious. <laughs> it looks like Barnabas has decided to have some juice. Uh, he's going to be a little bit sloshed. <laughs> so we're going to have a drunk ghost on our hands. And I hear Abby laughing. <laughs> Let's just go see. Oh, they got interrupted. And it looks like uh, she's going to be talking to Vale Thompson a little bit. Let's see if, if Brandon already went upstairs. Yep, he did. And she's going to go ahead and say, Sorry, Vale, honey, but I got to go. <laughs> My man is upstairs waiting on me. 
So, yeah, they are going to woody hoo 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 in a haunted house. And how did Pam improve her handiness skill to level one? Did she fix something? Let's find out where Pam is. There's Pam. Maybe she read a handiness book or something like that. But look at these bugs crawling around. They're not the kind that you can actually catch. Um... So, we just won't even pay attention to them. Okay, it sounds like Abby and Brandon are having quite a good time right now. And let's just see what they put on after the woohoo. Let's see if they put on their costumes back on or if they put on their regular clothes. And I'm guessing they're going to put on their regular clothes. And is somebody else woody hooing? Somebody else is woody hooty hooing. This is Corinne Millhouse and Derek Rockford. Are they a couple? Huh. She's definitely wearing her pajamas. So, let's just see. Corinne Millhouse. Yes, they are a couple. Okay. Felt Thompson. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Um... And it looks like everything's going... Why did Tom cook when there's plenty of food here? I don't know. Uh-oh. <laughs> Abby had performance anxiety because of all these people standing around. Um, and it looks like, you know, we're standing around in our pajamas now. So, um, we're just going to change our clothes out of the pajamas because, you know... So, um, we're going to change it to our costume. We're going to be something different. We could be a tiger, an alien, um, a princess, a mermaid, a hot dog, hockey mask, a diver, cowgirl, cheerleader, burglar, bunny. You know what? Since Brandon was a cowboy, let's see what Brandon's options are. We'll get something for them to kind of coordinate together. He can be a skeleton, a burglar, <laughs> a clown. Oh, it would be great if she could be a cop and he could be a burglar. That would be fun. He could be a clown, a cow plant, um, a cowboy, a diver, a hockey mascot, dog, a rock star. Okay. Um, since he was the cowboy, we'll just let him be the cowboy again. And we'll let Abby this time be a cowgirl. How about that? Oops. Okay, change into costume, and we'll see what the cowgirl looks like. Because there's really um, nothing all that great for them to be. So, there's... Oh, look at her hair. And why is everybody yawning? Okay, I don't think I like the cowgirl. Let's just see what we got here. Uh, we could be... We're going to be... I wonder what a cheerleader would look like. Um, we could be a bunny. <laughs> that would be funny. Um, we're going to see what the cheerleader looks like. And we're probably going to change Brandon, too. Okay, we'll just let her be a cheerleader. And we're going to have Brandon be... He's going to be a burglar, I think. I think I want him to be a burglar. That's what he's going to be. Mm. Could be kind of um, mysterious with that mask on. And there are no burglars here. And poor Korean Millhouse, she's trying to get her woohoo on. <laughs> and everybody keeps interrupting her. Um, so I don't know about that. And Tom has improved his cooking skill. Is he reading a book? He's reading a freaking book. <laughs> That's what it is. Okay. All right, that, I wondered how all these people were, were improving these skills. It's because they're all reading from the bookshelf. Um, okay. And I hear Barnabas. It sounds like he is haunting. Hear him? Where is he? Oh, he's haunting this chair right here. I wonder if that's Barnabas or... Oh, somebody has got my kid. Who has got my baby? <laughs> Eric Orwell has my baby. And what is she doing with the baby? She's going to take that ba the baby up and put the baby in the crib. That's what she's going to do. 
which is okay. You know, it's kind of nice of her, I guess. Um. Okay, so, and Abby doesn't know what to think about this ghost person that she saw. It really kind of spooked her a little bit. You know, because the other day, she thought she saw Patrick Muldoon on the sidewalk. But, you know, she's telling herself, there's no way that it could be Patrick. You know, um, what would he be doing in Storybrook County? You know, I mean, that's just ridiculous. There's no way he could ever have found out, you know, had could have tracked her here because, you know, her family does not know anyone here in Storybrook County. So, it would really make no sense for her to be here. But, she is just a little bit, a little bit creeped out um, about that person whom she saw and she does not know who that person was. Okay, so, and she could tell that they were an adult. All right, so what is Brandon doing? Brandon is going to boast about his dancing skill. And it looks like this chair is definitely, definitely being haunted. Let's see if Brandon can... Oh, wait, wait, why are you going home? I guess the game has officially called this party over. It is 11 p.m., and I think... That if the curfew was in place, you can't set a booby trap on a scooted in seat. Okay. Um, I just wonder, though, if we can set a trap for Barnabas Collins. Just out of curiosity. Um, set a trap for, we can, Barnabas Dark. I said Barnabas Collins, didn't I? Um, if you're wanting to know where I got these um ghosts i downloaded all of the characters from um what's the name of that movie dark shadows okay i downloaded all the characters from dark shadows at the sims resource but these characters are not the are not johnny it's not johnny depp it's the characters ha 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 he sat on it um it's the characters from the the TV show that was like back in the I don't know I want to say the 70s maybe uh, but yeah I downloaded all of these characters from that television show from the Sims resource and then I put them on this lot and killed them one by one <laughs> and so here they are um, now when you kill a sim on a lot that sim will stay with that lot. So that that's pretty neat. That ghost will stay with that lot. So that's what I did. You have to kill them on the lot you want them to be on. Um, but yeah, you can do that. And that is how they got here. And I've got, um, who I have? I have Barnabas. And I named them Dark because this is Dark Manor. So I just changed their name from Collins to Dark. But yeah, it was Barnabas Collins and Josette. Um, has a different name, but I can't remember what it is right now. She is his love interest. And then David Dark, um, that is a kid from the show. And then Sarah Dark, she is a kid from the show. And I believe their both last name is Collins. And then um, Barnabas was in a love triangle with this girl who was a witch. And her name was Angelique Bruchard. But I did not change her name. I left it like it is. And she's a witch. Let's summon her <laughs> and see what she looks like. Let's, um, let's, um, spawn ghost and see what she looks like. Now, if, oh, she does not look like what she looks like. I, evidently, I do not have the custom content that she was wearing because that is not what she looked like when I downloaded her from the Sims resource. But I cleaned out a lot of custom content. Um, from my game and I guess her hair is one of the items that I, that I did not that I do not have in my game right now because that's not her hair and, and that's not her clothes but anyway if you are looking for these characters they are at the Sims resource um, so yeah they're from the dark shadows the television show 
and let's just find out. <laughs> it's starting to rain. Okay, so it is raining. Um, it's going to rain on our parade. So we're going to get inside and let's see what Abby is doing. Oh, Abby must be tired. So I guess, what's this? Rude awakening, loud noises, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so Abby's going to get up and we're going to go ahead and get the baby. And we are going to go ahead and go on home. It is 11.45. So, yeah, we are going to um, go home. And call it a night and go home and see what little Bailey is doing. We are going to go here with. And we're taking our lovely boyfriend, fiance. You know, he's not asked her to marry him yet, has he? No, he has not. And we're taking our beautiful daughter, Charlotte. And we are going home. So that's what we're going to do going to call this party done and I hope that she takes her um, sleeping bag with her okay she did she took her sleeping bag with her um, it did not leave it and let's see what Brandon's doing is Brandon going to get the baby no time for video games Brandon let's go <laughs> and I hear lion lion roaring or something okay Brandon let's go who's gonna get the baby I guess it's going to be Brandon because Abby's just standing there. Yeah, so Brandon's going to go up and get baby Charlotte. And I thought they would carve pumpkins. But evidently the pumpkin carving, because it's so late and Abby is tired, we'll do the pumpkin carving tomorrow and decorate the house a little bit. Um, and there is baby Charlotte. And the only thing I don't like about this house from the store is these pieces right here, they don't disappear when you, you know, kind of zoom in or whatever. That's the only thing that bugs me um, about these store, these particular store items. But other than that, I really like the set. Um, I have every single thing from the set for The Sims 3 from the store that you can possibly have. I have every single expansion pack. I have all the stuff packs except for one. I did not buy the, the Katy Perry Sweet Treats expansion or stuff pack. Um, I, I thought about buying it, but I saw Lazy Gamer review it, and I just could not do it. <laughs> um, I knew that I would never use those pieces, so I did not buy that. Um, but I do have everything else. So he's going to go ahead and put Miss Charlotte in the crib. And it looks like they are going to go ahead and say good night. He's going to go to sleep. And we're going to let Abby go to sleep. And um, I will be right back with you in the morning when someone wakes up. Now, tomorrow is supposed to be the prom. Now, I did have to reset the town um, in the last, at the end of the last episode. So, um, and there's poor little Bailey, and I hope he doesn't need anything. Um, so I don't know if the prom is still set up or not. He needs to destruct something. <laughs> so, when does he age up? He ages up now, in zero days. So, um, that'll be good, that little Bailey is aging up. And little Bailey will be an adult dog for quite a long, long time. Because I do not like for pets to pass on in The Sims 3. So, I do have his lifespan set to epic. So, okay, I'm gonna let everyone sleep and I'll be back in the morning. See you in a second. Okay, so it is morning and Abby is awake. Um, and she's going to go clean the toilet. Brandon is in the bathtub, he's taking a bath. Um, and I believe we might have some mail that we need to get. Um, so, we're gonna get the mail instead of cleaning that toilet she can clean that toilet after brandon gets out of the bathroom bathtub you know you're trying to relax in the tub and your sweetheart grabs the toilet brush and <laughs> goes over to the toilet bowl and it looks like little bailey um got himself something to eat but i'm thinking that we had sent off some metals or gems or something like that and that is probably 
what we have in the mail. Um, Abby received some, yeah, we did. We received a compendium ingot. Um, and we've got some gems. We've got a pair cut moonstone, bloodstone, and vampire's eye. And today is spooky day. Yay, yay, yay. And Abby, don't bother her. She is sleeping. Abby's going to clean the house really quick. And we are going to carve some pumpkins. Um, and while she's cleaning this, we are going to um, sell these things that we got. And we'll, oh my word, this is worth a, oh, what does that say? Oh, that's the gram weight, sorry. Looking at the wrong thing, but it's still worth quite a bit. Um, we've got two of these, one's worth 535. What's Brandon doing? Brandon's going to stare at his daughter. Um, 511. We've got two of these moons. Oh, wow. 1,200 Smolians. 900 Smolians. And we've got 124 Smolians. Okay. So, Brandon's putting little Charlotte in the swing. And then I'm going to go ahead and let him um, carve a pumpkin. So, I'm going to have him come over here. Um, I guess right here would probably be a good place to go to carve the pumpkin. And he is going to carve a jack-o'-lantern. He's going to just go ahead and do a traditional. I really love the cats. So we're going to do some cats. But we're going to let him carve a pumpkin. And um, I don't know whether or not you all purchased the spooky stuff, stuff pack for Sims 4 yet. With the pumpkin carving station. But um, if you have, <laughs> what do you think about the differences between that pumpkin carving and this pumpkin carving. Now, I'm going to be 100% totally honest and tell you that I actually prefer the pumpkin carving from The Sims 3 to the pumpkin carving from The Sims 4. Um, I like that they can sit down in the floor and carve the pumpkins wherever they want to and not have the pumpkin attached to a table. Um, so, yeah, I really do prefer Aww, the Sims 3 pumpkin carving. What's Abby doing? Okay, I'm going to let her put Charlotte back in the swing, and then she's going to do a cat. Abby will be graduating soon. Well, I don't know how that is possible, because Abby does not go to school. If she wants to have um, a diploma, she will have to um, take the test and get you know, get a diploma that way because, you know, she's not going to be able to go to school because she cannot get her transcripts um, from her old school without Patrick, her evil stepfather, finding out where she is. So, you know, that's just not a possibility. Um, now, I do not know whether or not she would have to have the transcripts to take the test to get the diploma. I don't know. Um, so, we'll just have to for storyline purposes, we will say that you do not have to have your transcripts for that. Okay, and there they go, carving some pumpkins. And we're going to speed through this really quickly. Um, and we're going to put these pumpkins on the front porch. They sure make a lovely couple. Tom Landville and Pam Carnegie continue to be... Oh my word, it's Charlotte's birthday! No! <laughs> okay, so um, today's Charlotte's birthday. So I guess probably we will have to, did, does it not seem like she just had a birthday? Um, we're going to have to do this with her grandparents. Um, so yeah, it's Charlotte's birthday and also it's the prom today, I'm pretty sure too. So we'll have to take care of both of those things. So back to Tom Landville and Pam Carnegie, they make a lovely couple. And they were holding hands on the boardwalk. Um, and it's Bailey's birthday today, too. Um, okay, and so here are our beautiful pumpkins. And we are going to put them on the front porch, and we are going to light them up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go into build mo by mode to put them where I want to put them. Here is this cute one right here. We're going to put it right there. And let's see what Abby's cat one turned out like. Love it. Okay, so we have our pumpkins, and we are going to 
have Abby go ahead and light these pumpkins, even though it's not dark yet. We're going to light both of the pumpkins. And Abby has really increased her cooking skill when she went to the library the other day. So she is hungry, and she is going to cook something fan-freaking-tastic. Um, you know what? We've got plenty of money, too. So you know what we're going to do? We're going to buy Abby a dishwasher because she needs to have a dishwasher. Um, you know, Brandon really wants her to have one. So we are going to buy this Primo Deluxe dishwasher, and we're going to put it right here. So there you go. She now has a very nice kitchen. Very nice dishwasher. And we're going to let her cook up something fantastic. She is going to um, serve breakfast. It is only 7.30. She is going to serve what something fantastic. How about... Well, okay. Really, the only thing that she can make for breakfast that sounds... A little bit out of the ordinary is French toast. So she's going to make some French toast. And I do believe that she um, increased her cooking skill to level 9, I'm pretty sure, at the library. She did. She has a level 9 cooking skill. So, all right. But with that said, I do need to let you know that it is time for me to say goodbye. But I want to thank you all so very, very much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this episode. Please let me know what you think about everything in the comments down below. And if you did enjoy this video, please leave me a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. I'll see you next time.